Okay, we're going to be taking a look at a Russian math Olympiad question. In this question here, they're giving us the following. We know that x squared minus y squared is equal to 9. And the product of x and y are 3. And what they want us to find here is the sum of x and y. That's our goal. So to start this off here, we're going to go ahead and define two variables, s and t. Let one be the sum of the variables and the other be the difference of the variables. From this, we get the following results. I know that x is actually the sum of the t's divided by 2, and y is the difference of the s and t values divided by 2. So again, to get that x value, you just add up your variables s and t and divide by 2, and to get that y variable, we have that s minus t divided by 2 is your y. All right, so again, the goal here is to find x plus y. We're going to do a little bit of manipulation on this expression to do that. And to start that off, you're going to let s and t equal the sum and difference of those x values. The idea here is that therefore I know that s squared minus t squared is by definition we know that s squared minus t squared is going to be since s is in fact the sum of x and y and t is the difference. I substitute those in. Expanding this all out and simplifying, you end up getting that it's just equal to 4xy. But again, we knew in the original question given to us that x times y is 3. So I, therefore, I know that the s squared minus t squared is 12. And likewise, the product of s and t would be the product of the sum and difference of the x and y values, which if you expand that out, that is x squared minus y squared. It gives us 9. So therefore, I know that t is equal to 9 over s. So the idea here is we're trying to get this down to one variable. And I'm in a situation here where I know that s squared minus t squared is equal to 12. And I also know that t is equal to 9 over s. So I can go ahead and substitute that into this equation. Uh, that'll give us the following here. I know that s squared minus t squared, like we were discussing, is I can get rid of that t and change that to a 9 over s quantity squared, expanding out. And I, I know that's equal to 12. Uh, we had just discovered that all the way over here. I had discovered that that was the case. So we can go ahead and set the s squared minus t squared equal to 12. But again, by doing that substitution of the t value, I now have s squared minus 81 over s squared is 12. We're going to multiply across by s squared, giving us a degree 4 polynomial, which we can treat just as a quadratic. I can go ahead and do my quadratic equation on this. Um, if you let s squared equal uh, negative b in this case, plus or minus, the square root of, again, b squared minus 4a and c, and divide that whole thing by 2a. You end up getting here your s squared is 6 plus or minus 3 root 13. And taking the square root here, we get s, which is equal to x plus y, will equal plus or minus the square root of 6 plus or minus 3 root 13. So you end up getting here four different values for the x plus y. Some of them will be imaginary here, and you can explore that further if you wish. All right, this is just a quick uh, Russian math Olympiad question I thought I'd show you. Um, again, the technique here is really to make the observation that x squared minus y squared is 9, and you can break that up into x plus y, x minus y. And doing a little bit of manipulation here and using these properties, we can kind of get this down to one variable and solve. And we get our final answer actually yielding four different possible values. All right, thank you.